6.6 follow-up, new clues tonight in the unsolved murder of a popular waiter. Michael Olson was gunned down 10 days ago while simply walking home in the Woodstock neighborhood. Tonight, his parents have a message for the killer and a scary prediction which they shared with our Jennifer Hoff. We don't want any other parents to go through it. But Sandy and I went through. In his first television interview, Jim Olson's pain is painfully clear. You're not supposed to lose your kids. I lost my mother, my father, my brother, and my sister, but I was never prepared for losing a son. He wanted to share with you how his son lived, not dwell on how Michael Olson died. He was uh, very bright, funny, witty. He had a vocabulary that just didn't end. The 30-year-old was a popular waiter at Portland's Hair of the Dog Brewery. He moved here five years ago while his parents went south to Florida. On September 30th, they got the news that's still settling in. We've been busy, and I imagine when we're not so busy, it will hit us a little harder. The couple flew into town Friday and spent the day planning Michael's funeral. I wake up in the morning and I think, did this, was this a dream? Did it really happen? But of course it did. Last week, an armed robber gunned down Olson, who was walking home after a bachelor party. And police say Olson didn't know his killer, who looks like the sketch they released. But someone does. We found out officers think multiple people are directly involved in the killing. And they need more tips to not only close the case, but give this family closure. I would tell them that they need to come forward, as I've been saying, be not only for Michael's justice, but we've also thought about this is somebody that just needs to get off the streets. Someone else is going to be hurt. Now, as for the case, Crime Stoppers is offering a thousand dollar reward for any information that might lead to an arrest. Your tips can even remain anonymous. We've posted that information on coin.com. Meanwhile, you heard me say where Michael worked at the Hair of the Dog Brewery, which is here behind me. And his friends and family will celebrate Michael's life with poems and stories about him on Sunday from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, I'm Jennifer Hoff for Coin 6 News.